How do I declutter books? Of all the questions that I get asked, whether I'm speaking or leading the uncluttered course, probably the most difficult one for me to answer is, how do I declutter books? I just struggle to know the best way to answer it. So what I did recently was I asked on Twitter, those of you who have done a good job of minimizing your book collection, what is the one tip that you would most want to communicate? Here are the top 10. Number one, decide to do it. That it starts with a decision, that it starts with deciding that you're gonna stop putting it off and I'm gonna make the decision, I'm gonna own fewer books and I'm gonna figure out how to do it. Number two, realize books do not define you. I found this to be helpful thinking, that we are not who we are because of how many books are on our shelves or which books are on our shelves. We are who we are because of the life that we live. And our books have helped us become the person that we are, but they don't define who we are. Number three, remove scarcity thinking. Don't fall into this trap of thinking that you're never going to be able to find this book again in order to read it. As you minimize your book collection, almost certainly most of the books that you get rid of, you're not going to need again. But if there are one or two, there are so many places to find books these days, you'll be able to find it. Number four, determine to make room for the new. I love this idea that I get rid of old books so I can make space for new ones that are coming in. As a reader, you'll appreciate that as well. Number five, go digital. I say personally that you should be reading on whatever format is most comfortable to you. If the idea of reading is to learn or to be entertained or to grow, then we should choose the format that allows us to do that best. But if you haven't tried a digital reader, how would you know? Give it a shot. Number six, give yourself permission to keep your favorites. That less is different than none. That when you think about minimizing your book collection, we're not talking about getting rid of every single book. As a matter of fact, what we're talking about is keeping just your favorites. So remind yourself, you're gonna keep your favorites you're gonna get rid of those that you don't intend to read ever again. Number seven, set up reasonable boundaries for your collection. When I first minimized my book collection, I had three bookcases in my office and I cut it down to one and a half. I found that format to be helpful, that limiting the space forced me to make decisions about which books I really wanted around, which books I knew I was gonna go back to, and which ones I could quickly discard. Maybe cutting it in half is too much for you, but maybe you could get rid of one bookcase, or maybe you could keep everything in just one. Number eight, remove unused or outdated reference books. The internet really has changed the game when it comes to reference books. So much information can be found online now that you don't need to keep the book anymore. Number nine, Think of forwarding good books as an act of love. If you enjoyed a book, if you were challenged by a book, if you were entertained by a book, if you became a better person by reading a book, man, one of the best things that you can do is forward that book to someone else who would enjoy it or who would become better by reading it as well. This is one of the most loving things we can do. Not hoarding books to ourselves, but passing them on to someone else that we can bless with them. And the number 10, the last one is this. If all else fails, choose to lend them out. Choose to become generous with your books. Write your name on the inside cover of each of them and just put it up there. Hey, if you need books, I have them. Become your own little personal library some of them might not return, but almost all of them are going to return eventually, and they could be lent out to someone else as well. I hope these tips are helpful to you. They came from all over the world. They came from all sorts of different people. 
all who have gone through the process of decluttering books and are happy because they did it, you will be happier as well.